Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Yay. So I saw that they came out with this and the claims were just really interesting and I just thought like another, you know, wannabe full coverage tart dupe. But it was very interesting and I just decided, you know what, well let me go ahead and test it out and see if it lives up to its expectations. So the shade that I'm in, it's G Medium 2 and it was just really um, weird, like I think I should have gone with G Medium 3, I think. That would have been my perfect shade. I, this is going to be a little too light for me, but I did only pick up one shade because it is a $30 concealer. So I was like, okay, just one. And I figured if it was too light, I could still use this to like just purely brighten up my eye because I have other concealers that work for me. What it is, this is a long-wearing crease-proof concealer with weightless Full coverage that also provides next level pollution defense. What it does, this vegan full coverage, vegan and full coverage concealer blurs imperfections with a naturally radiant finish while providing all day crease proof, transfer proof, and color true wear. This weightless multi use formula. Formula is available in 30 diverse shades, making it ideal to conceal, contour, and highlight any skin tone. And then it says find your undertone. So they have pink, neutral, golden, and then G plus is golden olive. Those are the claims of this little concealer. Let's go ahead and test that out. Deep. I have used this once, but my skin was freaking out, and now it's coming down more. So I figured it would be the perfect way to it would be it would be perfect for me to now try this concealer because i didn't want to give it a bad review and then it was just my dry skin but i'm still a little dry but i'm making it work so this is what it looks like the little dofa applicator has just a little circle at the top let me zoom you in and let's go ahead and do this So yeah, this is gonna be like pretty light for me, but it's all good. So right off the bat, it does disperse um, a lot less product than like Tarte Shape Tape and the Born This Way. That's what I'm mostly comparing it to because those are my favorite concealers, but we shall see. And I'm just gonna be using my Sony Kashuk to blend this out. Right off the bat, it has nice coverage. It doesn't have full, full coverage. <laughs> you know, it's not about that full coverage, coverage life. You know what I'm saying? But my face, I'm also gonna do these little. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and build it up, but this is just like one layer. I did put quite a lot, I would say, under my eyes. Like I didn't go like light hand or anything like that, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and build it up to see if it's buildable. All right, so this is what the concealer looks like. It's nice. I just feel like the color is kind of throwing me off a little bit because it's just too light. It pick up like the, their travel size um, translucent light 
powder this on one side and then because I've never tried this I've never tried this but I was just curious to see you know well I'm pretty sure it has to work well with their foundation you know what I'm saying and then I'm gonna use the powder on this side of my face because it's the powder that I know for a fact works with everything I have. Every single concealer, every single foundation like this powder never lets me down. It never looks dry on my skin. It's just amazing overall. So let me go ahead and do that with the one side of my sponge. And it did say it was transfer proof or something like that. This is just like a little sticky and I mean it did transfer so do you mean not transfer after I set it or what okay let's just set it and see this is with the powder I mean it, this is set with the water and this is not set as you can see and I mean it transfers so I don't know what you're talking about non transferring I don't know if they mean like after you set it or like what those mean kind of got a lot so I'm gonna put some on my forehead with the cover fix powder I just feel like my skin looks more textured and with the water it just looks wow well, so the concealer looks like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face off camera and then I'll go ahead and let you know what it looks like under my eyes and stuff. So far, after setting it, I feel like okay, I can see more of the coverage. I don't know if it's like the powder or like what, but I just feel like okay, I can see it's looking good now. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that and then I will be. So right this back. is what the concealer looks like after I have everything on a uh, radiant what was it radiant matte is that what it was I think it does have some sort of radiance to it um, even peeking through the concealer so that is nice it looks like mm, I would say kind of natural it's not the most natural like I don't think it's as natural as my born this way but it's there. It's not tart shape deep. You know what I mean? Sorry, it is 216. It is very, very late. But I do plan on getting like maybe eight or nine hours since it is a long wearing. I feel like that's the standards. Like if it can last eight hours, it's fine. This concealer around 130, I wanna say. So we're gonna go from 130 to on. But this is just that's how long it took me to do my makeup and show you what it looks like on natural daylight and that's what it looks like i think it looks pretty nice i actually do like how it looks i do have some folds in my eye so i'm not gonna judge it very harshly if it like um creases but i am gonna compare to how it creases with my tarte shape tape and my born this way so yeah just letting you know um i do tend to get pretty oily throughout the day so um we'll see if i get if it looks a lot more oily than you know my tarte shape tape or my born this way so we'll just have to see about that how well it holds up, like if this would be perfect for oily skin, dry skin um, combination right now. Like I said, I'm very dry, but I do get oily throughout the day. So, yeah. Alright, so I will see you at the end of the day. Okay, so far it looks okay. Um, it does, my oils are kind of peeking through through sorry this sun is like hitting me very directly but better this way i just think that um i don't know let me zoom in i don't know <laughs> i just think the tarte shape tape would have lasted a little longer and as you can see like we're right here the one with the glossy a powder looks more matte to me than the one with the cover effects powder so i'm like I don't know. I'm guessing that cover effects powder is not that mattifying. I guess it's supposed to be for dry skin. So, yeah, I need something that'll keep me matte but not dry. 
so that's a glossier. But yeah. All right, so it is 11.29. Been rough. Been about 10 hours and I have to say that um, like after the about the seven to eight hour mark it looks very very cakey like can you see how nasty it looks like I just want to take my makeup off that's all I want to do I don't think I don't think my Born This Way or Tarte Shape Tape get this cakey. Like, this is a good concealer, but I would probably wear it like the same way I wear my ColourPop concealer. Like, I only wear it for when I'm gonna wear makeup for a very small amount of time. Like, maybe later on in the evening, you know, where I'm just gonna wear it for like maybe five hours, just going like very short amount of time, you know. But I don't think this is long wearing. At least not longer than the Tarte Shape Tape. Like at the eight hour mark, it looks fine. But after that, like it just cakes up really bad. And it just looks super, I look pretty oily in my opinion. So is this a bad concealer? No, it's not. Um, I will still probably keep playing with it. It's not a bad concealer. It's just not my favorite. So you try this out. You don't want to go back. You just don't want to settle down. You know what I mean? Um, this has... 0.33 fluid ounces, which would be the same as the Tarte Shape Tape, but this has point, point, um, point 0.50 ounces, half an ounce, and I believe this is 29, so I don't know. I'll say that um, this is similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, very similar. I feel like they both get kind of caked up in that way and I just feel like this one lasts less longer and controls your oils less so I would say this is more hydrating um, than the Tarte Shape Tape it has nice coverage like maybe like this is the perfect medium coverage because these are very high coverage concealers this is your perfect medium in between like maybe you don't like a super high coverage concealer so maybe you could give this a go but um, to me, it just I personally just found the ones that worked for me. So if those haven't worked for you, give us a try, you know, because it's still a pretty good concealer. I just I just have to know what products works work best for this concealer. I'll leave it at that. And yeah, that is everything that I have for this video. I hope this helped you kind of see how it works throughout the day. Maybe you were gonna buy it, maybe you weren't. Now you're sure, now you're not sure. I don't know, I hope this helped in any way. Yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. I would highly appreciate it. I would also highly appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe. And I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and hopefully I can see you in the next one. Bye.